took a video and you want to do a little editing, that is completely understandable. Uh, gee, I think this could use a little editing. So I checked out this Adobe Spark, which is an internet-based program. You will have to sign up, like enter your email address. But other than that, it is super friendly and you don't have to pay anything. So it's really great. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Adobe Spark program to make your video into what you want it to be. Whether you wanna cut down a little bit of what you're using from your video or you wanna add some slides that might have some words on it or you wanna add background music. This Adobe Spark program will allow you to do that and it also gives a free share to Google Classroom option at the end. So it's a super easy way to turn in a project to maybe um, say me, your teacher. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy creating your video. How to create or edit a video on Adobe Spark. First, go to spark.adobe.com. Once you are there, then there you go to create your own video now. And then you will be asked to sign up for the software. And the cool thing is Adobe gives the option to sign up as a teacher or student using your school account. So that's a nice option. And that's what will link you to Google Classroom. So if you want to automatically link to Google Classroom, you must use your school account to sign up for this. Do not use any of those other options like Facebook or anything. Once you are all signed up, this page should show up. And you can go ahead and title it if you want to, or you can skip that if you want. Um, either way, it works. And then you can pick a story template to start from, or you can start from scratch. Picking a story template just makes it a little bit easier. And the really great thing is, since we're going to use this video to teach with, if you scroll over to the right, there is one that you can choose for teach a lesson. So we're going to use that one. You don't have to, but it is a suggested thing to make this a little bit easier. So then it is going to load that and um, it will give you a little tutorial that you can watch to help you learn how to use this. Once you are on here, you can either use a live video that you have recorded and put that as part of your video, or you can create this video to not even include live video if you want it. Let's say that I wanted to create one about creating a video. I might add text to the first thing and I might say, create your own video. Then I might I'm gonna change the theme. Um, so you can go over here to the top right hand um, area and it says theme. You press theme and then you can scroll down and there's all sorts of fun themes that you can choose. And once you choose one, it will change your text to look different. And you can usually change the colors within that theme to be different. There's lots of different options. I personally like um, like hand lettering or like a script type of thing. You can even rechange your text. You can move it around. You can record something by uh, pressing and holding in on the record button here. So I'm going to record something. Today, I will teach you how to create your own video. And then you can go to your next slide. And if you wanted to add a video here of you doing something, great. If you did not want to record yourself, then an option is you could add a photo. So you can click on photo. Of course, you can upload a photo that you took. But if you did not take any photos, you can find some free photos. See if it brings up anything. So it brought up some different images and I can choose one that I like. And then it automatically puts it in. You can add text to it. Um, you can delete it. You can add video over top of it. Um, and I got all of that just by clicking on this plus sign and then clicking off of the plus sign onto the side area brought up these other options. I'm just going to add some voiceover. I can go to my next slide and I can add in something else, like another photo. If you can't find what you want under these free photos, another area that you can 
use is this Adobe stock photos. All of these will have a watermark on them, but you can use them because this is just a little project. It's not something that you're using to like sell your brand name, so it's not a big deal if it has a watermark. So let's see what they have for video. So let's say I wanted to use that. Now let me do tell you one thing, one little tip. When you're doing these voiceovers, they don't want them any longer than 10 seconds. So let's say whatever you were saying took up longer than 10 seconds, you'll need to delete it. To delete the voiceover, or if you messed up when voiceover, um, you can delete by just clicking on the time over here on this right hand side. And then it just says remove narration. Like I said, you can use this to add in um, video clip or you can create it totally from just pictures and do voiceover. So you don't actually have to have a video clip of yourself doing anything. You can a slide this is like step one and do this and then step two do this. Or you can videotape yourself doing these different steps and then put that in to add video go up here to video and then it's going to open your computer mine are stored under downloads you'll just have to know where your video is stored so let's take this crazy clip of me making the air dry clay and then it will upload your video and then you can choose like do I only want like the front part of this do I want a large portion of it and you move these little lines to show how much you want or maybe like do you want only the middle of the video and you can just click on this little three line thing and it'll change or move it to wherever you drag it to and then once you get the portion of the video that you want you can press play to see what you have and then you can press save once you figured out what you do want it will take a couple seconds to save the changes so I'm just gonna fast forward through it's saving okay so it's all saved now um, so basically that's how you make the video using this. This is called Adobe Spark. You can also add music that's up in this right hand side. You can click on music and then it has lots of free music. You can press the little play button. Um, and then once you decide on I like this, then if you click on it, it'll automatically add it. Now, by picking that you want it to do a um, teaching video, it automatically added music. Mine automatically added across the bridge. Then once you um, add the music, you can turn up the music or turn down the music right here on the right side. You can preview it by pressing the play button on any of your slides. Now I will warn you that it's easy to cut yourself off with the voiceover thing. Like on this slide, I did cut myself off by accident. And so like I taught you before, if you need to get rid of any narration, you just need to click on that and hit remove narration. And then when you record, make sure that you hold in on that button until you're completely done talking. And then you can press play and check it. Okay, to do, delete any of these extra slides, you just click on the slide that you do not want anymore. And then there's three little um, marks that will show up in the corner. You press on those three little marks and then you can hit delete. And you say, yes, I want to delete this slide. So the great thing about this program is when you're ready and your video is all ready to share, then you just hit the share button up here um, and then you hit publish and then you can fill in what the name is if you want to give it a subtitle your name and then I would unclick this this is saying that your project may be featured on an Adobe Spark website so um, unless you want that unclick it and then you hit create link and it will take a couple seconds to make that link so I'm going to fast forward through the computer thinking. So once your computer has the link ready, it'll say um, to share, shareable link. And you could obviously hit copy and put that somewhere. But the great thing about this Adobe Spark is that it has a classroom button. And it will put it right onto Google Classroom for you. So you hit classroom button. It will shoot you over to your Google Classroom. You select your Google Classroom that you want to put it in and then you put it um, under the assignment video upload 
and then you hit go and it will attach this video for you and so right here's the video and you hit attach and so that's really great because it's super easy your assignment is ready to turn in so now you can hit view assignment and you'll see on your Google Classroom your work and right there is your assignment and I can show you what it looks like from my perspective as a teacher real quick um, when I go over to this assignment then right there would be your assignment that you turned in so that's a super fun easy way to turn it in all right well i hope you enjoyed this little adobe spark um, tutorial and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and comment